It is fascinating how the brain perceives pieces of information and combines them to construct a complete image that makes sense to us. The persistence of vision of the eye happens because of a delay between when the eye grasps the light and when it reaches the brain neurons and also because the eye averages what it sees for a short amount of time. I really recommend watching Smarter Every Day's video where Destin explains exactly what does occur in this process. In this project, I have combined what I've learned in my last two ones, the LED matrix display and the custom Arduino dev board. I have used an ITtiny 2313 microcontroller and an HC06 Bluetooth module as a way of communication to interact with the display. The Bluetooth module requires a 3.3 volts, so I added a 3.3 voltage regulator. However, on the other hand, the microcontroller is powered using a 5 volt because it is running at a 16 megahertz. So I added a 5 volt voltage regulator. There is also a few more components. Uh, an infrared receiver diode which is connected to the hardware interrupts of the microcontroller. A piezo that I end up not using. A power up LED indicator. ESP header programmers. And finally few pad connection to the second PCB which will contain the LEDs and shift registers. I would like also to mention that a voltage level shifting between the microcontroller and the Bluetooth is needed, especially in the Erex pin, due to the voltage level difference between the two. So I've used a simple uh, voltage divider using few uh, resistors. I would like also to mention that it was not the good choice for me to use this specific microcontroller. The ITtiny 2313 has only a 2 kilobytes of flash memory, 128 uh, of uh, flash of uh, RAM and 128 of EEPROM memory. So I have a little bit of struggle to store all the ASCII characters needed. Uh, so for now I only stored the digits in few special characters to be able to show the clock. Let us now look at the PCB layout. So we have here the voltage regulating section, both of the two voltage regulators, the Bluetooth module, the microcontroller, this is the piezo I end up not using, as I said before, a reset button, ESP programmer header, the infrared receiver diode, and connection pad to the second board. The second mistake I made is that I set the rotation center not in the middle of the board. I thought it will not matter much as the PCBs will not be that heavy. But I was wrong and it was wobbling a lot while it was rotating. So I end up adding few extension to it for it to be balanced. The second PCB is simply a uh, matrix LEDs that are arranged in lines instead of rows and columns. They are addressed using two shift registers and we have here the pad connections matching the ones we created in the first PCB and the layouts of the board looks like this the pads actually are in the middle of the board and we have here the two shift registers and the LEDs are aligned vertically the second important part in this project is how to power it up while it is spinning. There is few ways you can achieve that. You can use brushes contacts like a DC motor or you can attach the battery directly into the board. And there is also the wireless power transmission. I've decided to use the last choice because it is safer, it does not add extra weight and does not have moving parts. After a few search in the internet, I found this guy's YouTube channel and they have implemented a wireless power transmission. They also provided the circuit, so I will leave all the links in the video description. 
let us now look at the real thing so this is the board and this is the main board with the Bluetooth module and uh, microcontroller, the voltage regulators and this is the second board with the LEDs and the shift register uh, as I mentioned before uh, the, the board was not balanced so I had to add an extension to the board for it to be a little bit balanced uh, this is the uh, this is the transmitter coil for the power and the receiver coil with some uh, rectifying diode and a capacitor f uh, to to convert the AC um, AC voltage to a DC voltage and then feed it feed it up directly to the voltage regulator. Uh, and we have here the wireless transmission uh, power transmission circuits. We've got the two MOSFET transistor one on each side and the two 50 Henry coils. I didn't have them so I wind them manually. And this is a simple PC power supply. I also forgot to mention that there is uh, an infrared EDD transmitter right here. And that is for uh, as soon as this comes aligned with it, uh, there is the, the infrared LED receiver right, right here, if you can see the small dot right there so as soon as it comes aligned with it it will uh, trigger an interruption in the microcontroller uh, so it starts switching LED off and on depending on whatever we want what, what we want to, sh to, to show and that happens each time we, we cross that, uh, uh, that infrared lead and it's constantly on so now let's run this and see how it's uh, how it's do I have also created a simple Android application that allows me to set up the clock. I will not try to review any code in this video because as you may notice I'm not very good at explaining. However, I will put all the source code of both the Android application and the code I put into the IT Tiny microcontroller in the video description section. And of course, if you have any question or suggestion, feel free to send me a message or put it into the comment section below. I will leave you now with some of the footage of the build process.
This is simply a PC power supply and add, added some variable. I mean, uh, this is this is a simple. Okay, man, this is too far away. And this is simply um, a power supply. A PC. This is this is simply a power supply. This is simply a power supply. This is simply a PC power supply uh, and added uh, a little bit of trick to. Yeah, and this is the power supply. And this is a simple PC power supply.